The only downside of this bag is that it is like a few thousand dollars more than the Pico tin. And if you want that simple bucket shape, maybe you must you just want to go for a Picatin bag because it's so much cheaper. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 8,000 subs, so all your support would be much appreciated. I wanted to talk about the a new Hermes bag, the In The Loop bag. Now, I first saw this bag on Instagram. I have not seen it in real life yet, but because I'm kind of in a Hermes obsession at the moment, I'm definitely curious to see what this bag would look like in real life. And I've only read a purse bop article about it and seen sneaks on this Instagram page called Hermes Bonbon. And I thought I'd discuss what I've found out about this bag with you guys today. And yeah, guys, let me know what do you think of this bag? I actually put a poll on my Instagram asking you guys what you thought about this bag whether you like it or not and it was a really interesting result because slightly like it was like almost 50 50 but you guys said that you actually liked the bag but it was like pretty much 50 50 like you either love it or hate it kind of style I personally when I first saw this bag really liked it because it reminds me of the Pico tin bag which is one of my favorite handbags I picked this up for a really good deal on the pre-love market and I believe the retail is about 4400 Australian dollars from the boutique i picked mine up for about 2400 because it has some flaws to it and this new hermes bag the in the loop bag resembles a similar shape to the picatin and it comes in similar sizes as well the 18 size is 4350 usd which i believe is um a few thousand dollars more than the picatin bag so it is to me at a price point which is not as entry level like I feel like when you're starting out with Hermes I would recommend to go for like a Pico tin or an Evelyn bag because they're they're not like you know over five thousand Australian dollars but this bag is and I believe it's because it has a lot more details than the Pico tin so it has the Shondonk motif all through the bag um i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's basically this like circle that hermes use in a lot of their fine jewelry i've seen it on their shoes um on their scarves um even in the ruli bag you can see they've used that similar shape and in this bag they have it on the handles and the base of the bag and i particularly like how they used it on the base because i think it looks really creative and the actual material of the the little emblem thing is in swift leather and the whole outer of the bag is in Clemence. So it's a very kind of slouchy leather, similar to the Picatin, which is also tends to come in Clemence. But because it has these structured shapes on the bag, like a reinforced kind of structure to it, it I believe wouldn't sag as much and it gives the bag more form which is a benefit of having these extra leather parts stuck to the bag. Another interesting thing to note is that with the Picatin it actually kind of joins in the center of the bag whereas this one it joins at the sides and it kind of dumplings in this way which is kind of interesting. I don't know if you could add a strap to this bag maybe you could add a strap to the hook and the the little rivet at the side and where this is a crossbody because i think a lot of people would prefer that over the picatin because the picatin it you can attach a strap to it but it looks it doesn't look the best to be honest but i can see this bag uh working with the strap a little bit better but i'm not sure if it's actually designed to be worn with a strap so I don't know if that's a relevant point. Another difference with this bag is that the inside has a pocket in Swift and it also features the same kind of raw uh, leather in, in the inside. So the Picatin is unlined, as you can see, it's kind of fluffy. And this one is also fluffy, but it ha has a pocket inside in Swift. So again, it has a little bit more detail. And the fastening where uh, the bag does up also has a really beautiful detail to it. Now, with the Picatin, you actually get a little lock and key, whereas I don't think with this bag you do. So this bag, it's an open tote again, and it also comes in similar sizes to the Picatin. So it comes in the size 18, which tends to be one of the most popular sizes and it also comes in I believe the 
22 size. Oh, sorry, my, my bad, the 23 size. So the Picatin comes in 18 and 22, and then there's a 26, I think. And then the In The Loop bucket bag is 18 and 23. So that's interesting. I actually like the look of both the 18 and the 23. I think this kind of bucket shape can lend itself to be a bit of a bigger style as well. I personally really love the look of this bag. But I think I would only buy it if the right colour came along. I don't think I would necessarily go for a black. Like, I saw that this bag comes in more Sylvester, so that would be a colour I would totally buy. Or maybe even, like, a bright colour. Like, I could see on the website there's, like, it looks like a bamboo colour, which looks amazing as well. But even the white colour looks absolutely gorgeous with the brown lacquering on it. I just think that looks beautiful and the motifs really stand out. So let's look at what colours this is coming out in. I'm just going through sneak peeks on Hermes Bonbon of the Baton colour, which is really beautiful. There's also Grey Maya. Uh, and yeah, it's I also like with this bag how you've got the contrasting leathers, so the Swift with the Clemence. So you've got that feeling of different textures on the bags too which if you're really into leather you might enjoy that aspect of the bag they come in black which is probably the boringest one but if you're a black fan then you might like that comes in vert cypress and then the swift part is vert rosea so I, i'm curious to know if they'll start doing like really contrasting two-tones versions of these two like the clemence part will be like black and then the swift part will be like pink like i wonder if they'll play around with contrasting colors as well with this bag because there are versions of the picotin where half of it is one color and half is the other so they do sometimes get creative with these simple designs but yeah this one is two different colors but it's just very subtle um we've got one in chai which i absolutely love the color chai it is such a delicious looking shade the e -tube, um, also a very popular neutral. We've got Cassis, which is this beautiful deep like grape purple. And yeah, that's about all I've seen um, with that bag. Now, I believe last year another bag, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but there was another in the loop bag, which was a belt bag style. So um, this is another kind of bag that is the in the loop name. I know the belt bag style, um, I haven't seen many people like unbox it or anything or there's not much information on that either and it's rather small so I don't see that bag being as popular as this bag. I feel like this bag, it could be a really smash, big smash hit. The only downside of this bag is that it is like a few thousand dollars more than the Picotin and if you want that simple bucket shape, Maybe you must you just want to go for a Picotin bag because it's so much cheaper. You can actually find really good deals on the Picotin on the pre-love market as well. And yeah, to be honest, you might be just one of those people who don't want to pay th this much money for a simple bucket bag and you'd rather like, I don't know, put that money towards like a Kelly or a Birkin or something. Because I'm kind of like, I like this bag, but I don't know if I would be willing to pay this much for it just because... I'm a little bit thrifty and I'd rather get like a pre-loved garden party or something like that, if you know what I mean. But because this is a new bag, I think on the pre-love market, it's still the pricing is still going to be rather high. And of course, if you buy it from the boutique, then the pricing is uh, what it, it is, what it is. Like it's not a super great deal in terms of Hermes, but I would see this bag being super practical and I would personally, I can imagine myself using this bag a lot just because I like the Picatin and I think, I think, I think if you're a pa fan of the Picatin, you will love this bag. If you're not a fan of the Picatin, well maybe you wouldn't be so into this bag because I'm not sure if you can attach a strap to it, but I'm curious to see unboxing of, unboxings of this bag because yeah, I really like it. I don't know if I would get it next year. I think um, it might be hard to get. I mean, who knows? Maybe it will be really easy to get. I guess it depends on what country you live in. In Australia, it's really hard to get literally any bag, like even the less popular bags, like a her bag. So I'm going to assume in Australia it's going to be hard to get. But maybe if you live in Europe or even USA, maybe... Let me know guys, um, have you seen this bag in real life and what do you think of it? Is it something that's on your wish list? Because I'm very curious by it. I um, am actually thinking next year to only buy one or two bags and 
This one is honestly a bit of a consideration for me because yeah, I really love Hermes and yeah, I definitely the last few years have been buying like over 10 bags a year and I don't really want to do that anymore. And if I'm going to focus in on Hermes, I feel like this is a bag I would actually really use and enjoy. But I, I'm still unsure because it's a lot of money and yeah, I would love to hear if you guys have experienced this bag yet or if you just think it is like not worth it, um, let me know. And yeah, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!